never lose somebody that's just doing something silly and then the blood be required on my hand. But if you come to me with something that I know is God, I don't mind allowing you to shift because who am I to fight against what God is doing? Now, if you come to me and say that you want to go because you want to go and smoke cigarettes and drink and fornicate and all that kind of stuff, then somebody tell me how is that God? Somebody please help me understand when did God call people out of places into sin? I ain't seen that nowhere where God done call people out of places to get into a life of sin. I need somebody to inbox me or, or do it or post it or whatever. Tell me where you've ever seen where God has called somebody from somewhere for them to get into sin. I need somebody to help me with that. So if you come and you say something that's crazy that has something to do with sin, then my reaction as a pastor, as a covering has to be that, oh, hold up just a minute. I, I can't do that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got to get a full release from the Lord concerning that because, hey, baby, you tripping right now. You understand something done happened to you. How about we try to talk about this, try to work this out because something done happened to you. You done got into something. Maybe your nature, your flesh, maybe some old stuff you ain't been delivered from is showing up. How about we try to walk it out, try to talk it out and work it out. And that's going to be the response. But listen, let me tell y'all something. You got to know that transition is a part of living for God. Please understand that. Transition is a part of living for God. So don't ever think that, well, you know, I've not been here 20 years. Or addition that, well, God can call you away after 20 years. Uh-huh. When he wants to elevate, argue the point, read your word. What did he do to Abram? When he got ready to make him Abraham, he shifted him, didn't he? Do you get it? When he got ready to make him Abraham, he shifted him. Did he or did he not? Huh? Did he or did he not? When he got ready to make him Abraham, he shifted him. Are you ready for the shift? Are you ready for the shift? Are you ready for the shift? Three most difficult or hard words in the English vocabulary are the words subject to change. Subject to change. Are you ready to shift? Hmm? So what if God is calling you from what is your favorite place? Y'all shared the video yet? So what if God is calling you from that place that you called your favorite place? From that favorite person. What if God has called you from that? What if God has called you from that? Are you ready to shift? Are you ready to shift? Abram, are you going to stay Abram? Or are you going to come into Abraham? Saul, are you going to shift? Or are you going to become Paul? Cephas, are you going to shift and become Peter? Hmm? What you going to do? What you going to do? Delphine, are you going to shift and become Pastor Lee? Even Apostle Lee? What you going to do, girl? You gonna keep camping out at the root? Or are you gonna let the tree produce some fruit? I'm asking the question. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Those of you that are on Facebook, hold on, Zoom. Those of you that are on Facebook, listen. I am on Zoom 
<clears throat> right now live on Zoom. Facebook is going to end because I'm going to Zoom to do Q&A, which means I'm going to allow questions and answers. Under this live on Facebook is a post that I put that has the Zoom information on it. The meeting ID where you can come in on video or you can call in. If you want to, when, when I end this Facebook, if you want to come in on Zoom and be part of the Q&A, just bring yourself right on over to Zoom and you can be part of the Q&A. You can give your questions, you can give your comments, your feedback or whatever it is that you want to do. I'm about to get ready to, <coughs> excuse me, to end the Facebook Live. I've dropped off my mail, delivered my package, signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. I've done what God wanted me to do. So if you want to come in on the Q&A, feel free to come over to the Zoom. We're going to chop it up. I'm going to answer any questions or any comments to the best of my ability that y'all may have. So... Y'all get ready to come on over to Zoom under this live. If you'll go to my Facebook page, Delphine Lee. It's even on the trim page, too. I think I put it on there. But I, excuse me, I do know that it's on my page, Delphine Lee. If you will go on my Facebook page and just go down my time, you know, on my page and go down to my um, post, you'll see the information for you to join in on um, Zoom. So you come on over here to Zoom. So I'm going to get ready to close this out. Just hold on, Zoom. I got to make sure this goes out first. Just go down my time, you know, on my page and go down to my own post. You'll see the information for you to join in on Zoom. So make sure they get it. Catch y'all over on Zoom, Facebook. Come on over. Y'all over on Zoom, Facebook. Come on over. All right, hold on, y'all. Let me make sure it's supposed to be stopped the live stream. Let's make sure. I hit stop the live stream, so let's make sure that it stopped. Yeah, should have stopped it. All right, back it up. Yeah, it says this video has ended. Boom! I did two platforms tonight, y'all. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. You girl done stung them on two platforms. Y'all don't feel Like Michael Jackson said, go, girl! All right, well, I got some questions and some comments here. Any questions or any comments on Zoom? It's just us. We by ourselves now. Any questions, any comments? Y'all come on now, because I ain't going to be begging y'all. I got to take me a bath. I'm tired. I've been dealing with Jamie Stoudemire all day, and if, if you know Jamie Stoudemire, you know what I done been dealing with. Any questions, any comments, you'll have to unmute yourself. Come on, y'all got something? Let's go.